Hi there beautiful souls, welcome back to Grada Robertson and I'm looking forward to spending the next 20 minutes with you just sharing some information that I find helpful that's helped me over the years and I want to talk a little bit about your chakra system. <clears throat> um, I work as an inner healer or energetic healer. This is something I've been passionate about my whole life and I've worked with thousands of clients since the year 2000 uh, shifting blocked energy so that they can have greater health and also improve their wealth. A few years ago I started to help clients around money as well because I noticed that the same chakra system that holds our physical stresses uh, or relationship stresses also contain our money stresses, right? The, um, so what I'm saying is that the amount of money that you have in your bank account, um, the, the level of money usually ends up, if you know yourself well, being kept at a certain number and it just doesn't matter how hard you work or what you do or how many things you undertake, you can't seem to get past this level, right? And for some people that can be a comfortable level, but for most people it's not a comfortable place to be in. And the reason that you can't get past this ceiling is because your shock, the information and the energy in your chakra system isn't allowing you to go beyond that. And I've been studying this now with great interest. I find it fascinating. I see in my clients, how this energy works for them or doesn't work and um, I actually uh, created a money course, a money chakra online course that's completely self uh, guided so you can start it and finish it over the next 10 years if that's or you can do it all in one go. It's like you know something like 110 pages, it comes with videos and all the rest and that way you become a master at your own money some of my clients who've worked with me with money, they went on to um, have dramatic money changes straight away. Like some people um, got a promotion that they waited for. Another lady went to the pokies, which is not something I'm going to suggest. But the funny thing is she did win $10,000. I'm not going to say do that, but anyway. Um, and other people have also had windfalls, but I believe that was the money that had been the universe had been wanting to give that to them for many many years they just weren't ready to receive so are your chakras important absolutely and i can see and feel uh, your chakra system if you are with me like if you're my client if you connect with me and i can see and feel them but it doesn't matter if you were on the other side of the world because the chakra system uh, they are seated in the etherical part of your body, which is like your second outer body, which is pure energy and it contains all the information of your body, like your organs, your eyes, your heart, everything. It's a complete blueprint and the physical realm follows your etheric body, right? Not the other way around. It doesn't happen in the physical first and then go into the energy field. Everything happens in the energy field first. Now, today I just want to focus a little bit on the throat chakra. So we have seven main chakras. The throat one has been under attack um, more so, especially in the last two years with, with you know, where having to wear a mask that symbolically means you are a slave, right? And then the subconscious mind starts to remember all the other times you have been a slave, maybe in a past life where your ancestors have been enslaved, or it's in the human consciousness anyway, that we are slaves to masters and that we are not the master. But I want you to realize you are the master of your own life and you can be the master of your own life and co-create the life that you want. You have everything within you to do that. And that's another reason why I created those, that course or I work with my clients privately to unlock the secrets that are hidden in you. So just an, as an example, for instance, just looking at your ancestors, not everyone believes in past lives that they have an effect. But if you look at your ancestral history, just let, look at your mom and dad, like some people can't remember their grandparents, for instance. But just look at your mom and dad, how were they with money, right? 
Um, was it always flowing or was it difficulty? Did it create stress? Was your mom overworked or your dad? Was he grumpy from work? Was he an alcoholic? Was she an alcoholic? And so on. And that totally, absolutely, 100% uh, affects your chakra system and the keys to money or not. Now, we can go further back and go back maybe. Sometimes I have to go back hundreds of years in my clients and... Um, of course, there's no conscious memory of what they went through, but the body will always tell me this is uh, when I find the block, say, in the throat chakra, and I sometimes trace it all the way back, say, to hundreds of years ago, maybe 10 generations, and here is a person that was um, maybe put in danger, or that person might have lost his whole family or her whole family, all sorts of trauma can be in the chakra and the body, your body today won't let it go and it's keeping you small because it never wants you to experience that kind of trauma, right? So it's holding you back. So together we dissolve that energy and suddenly things start to flow. That's just an example. But <clears throat> Sorry, <coughs> my throat is starting to tickle now. <coughs> Yeah, I had a client one time and she brought a little girl to me and the little girl went hysterical every time the, uh, the taps were turned on in the classroom. And um, what happened was though that the little girl's grandmother had lost half her family in a boating accident uh, on a river and then she remarried again and had another son and this little child was that son's daughter right so every time the taps in class were turned on the little girl went hysterical and eventually we found the root cause this was the enormous tragedy in the family like how water the flow of water affected massively had a massive tra tragedy and so this was passed on into the cells of the little girl so that's easy to see but when it comes to saying the way we handle money, is it multiplying easily or are we always losing it or is, does misfortune strike? Well, there's no such thing as misfortune. It's all dictated from the inside out. So um, I just want you to become aware that there are many angles to the way your finances have unfolded today. And of course, that can all be undone. Like it might take hundreds of years for you to, to get to where you are plus your own lifetime, and yet that can be undone very, very quickly. That's the beautiful thing about humans. Um, we literally, what I always see this, be the bridge between heaven and earth, right? So earthly things happen to us and for us, and also heavenly things. So the, the potential for miracles and for massive sh shift and transformation is literally asleep in us, and we have to wake it up. And now we're going through the period of awakening right now. In case you don't realize, massive awakening is happening. And usually that's preceded by chaos. So welcome the chaos into your life so that you can reach a, a new way of living. A new order, a better order comes out of chaos. So what's significant about the throat chakra? Okay, this is... Uh, the fifth chakra, so we have the heart chakra, which is four, and we have our lower chakras as well. But today I want to focus on, on the throat chakra because it's under attack from the virus and from the masks and from, um, from um, the narrative that's going around. And we, not, not, we don't know who to believe anymore, right? That really affects our throat chakra. So the throat chakra is about listening, deep listening especially to your own soul. And I mean, many of us are disconnected from our soul. Many of us uh, don't know which voice to listen to. So if, but I'm gonna give you a hint right now. If you, if your intuition says, um, turn off to the right here, but another voice says, no, keep driving straight ahead. You don't know which voice to listen to. Uh, you always listen to the voice that's not from fear, right? If there is fear attached to the voice that's trying to tell you something, if it's coming from fear, you can bet your bottom dollar 
it's not your intuition because your intuition comes from God or a higher source comes from uh, this, the world of peace, like the plane of peace, right? So that's a little hint. So first place, we have to learn to listen to ourselves. And this is a journey that will take us till the rest of our lives to do that properly. So be patient with yourself. This is also, also about expressing your truth. Now, your truth is, can be different to mine. So that's also listening to to your own truth in particular, and then you can be more accepting of everyone else around you. You don't get triggered as much. It's also funny because the throat chakra is where the big money starts. So in, not, we're not talking anymore about $10 bills or $100 bills. Now we're starting to talk about bigger money. When, we, be, uh, when our throat chakra heals collectively for all of humanity, we will be entering the golden era and I feel excited about that but we're not there yet so some of the shadows like every coin has two sides right some of the shadows we have to integrate um, in the throat chakra is like um, I'm a liar like so uh, and then we really have to integrate that in ourselves like most people reject the idea that I tell lies but everyone is capable of telling lies and we've all told lies in the past like especially as children and maybe even today just to keep our jobs and so on so just making peace with that shadow plus there are many other shadows in the throat um, that I share with you when you have when you come to me for um, a session or it uh, you can find it in my money chakra course so the one way to strengthen our chakras is with energy or and or meditation and or singing and dance singing and dancing get that flow going but that's a little bit general if you're really blocked in your throat i also recommend that you go for little drives around the block in the car like two mini drives and you just scream at the top of your head and it's just you and the car nobody else right it's for you you just uncork that champagne bottle that's what you do right it's a spiritual thing to do a lot of people think screaming or anger is not spiritual right it's from the dark it's from darkness no it isn't because um the throat is actually bro blocked from all the screams that you couldn't scream at the time when you were in danger, when things happened to you, were told to be quiet, when you were shut up and shut down. So screaming can be a really, really good step as well to get the flow going and to get your money going. And so if you drive in the car and, and you scream it for two minutes is a long time, that will work and do it every day. That's a real commitment to yourself. So and it works really really well um, and that is uh, you know these are all ways to get you out of that slavery system that we were born into and you become your own master of your life and that includes your money and your money is tied into your health right wealth and health and your relationships you almost can't separate any they're all part of the pie and you are the pie so um, I think we're just going to do an energy correction now. Be so just um, pull your hands apart, like I've got my hands here, right? Close your eyes. I'm just going to invite you to close your eyes. Take a nice breath, gentle, relaxing breath into your body and out. And just ground yourself by noticing your bottom on the chair, your feet on the floor. And you can even imagine earth energy rising up to meet you. So you're blending with earth. And earth energy feels soothing and calming and cooling and energizing. And it has life force and it's refreshing. So just imagine it's rising up to meet you. It's already coming up around your ears. And now you notice in between your hands is a ball of energy and you just play around so just feel how big it is. Is it this big or do you need to make it a bit smaller or a bit bigger? 
right uh, everyone can do it so if you feel nothing it's still happening i want to assure you it's still happening it just takes a little bit for you to become sensitive to the energy between your hands because uh, our creator created us with the ability to do this right and so what i'm inviting you to do now is just visualize that energy is a beautiful golden energy like a warm rich golden ball shiny maybe maybe it's swirling around between your hands and it's soft and gentle it has no hardness it's like uh what's the word um feels what i'm trying to think it feels kind and loving it feels like benign like beneficial to you And maybe it's swirling one way. You're conscious that it's swirling one way. And then just for fun, let it swirl the other way. And then you notice that energy always follows your intention. Now I want you to put your uh, bank statement. Not that we have bank statements anymore, but just like visualize your bank statement and visualize the amount you want to see in your bank statement right now so for instance is, do you want to have ten dollars in the clear or ten thousand dollars or do you want a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars whatever you're comfortable with put that picture in this golden globe right and it can start circulating around as well And just take a nice breath into your body. Just let it go the other way around. So I'm, I can see the figure $100,000. That's what I want to work with today. And I'm just leaving it to the universe now. Don't need to think about it anymore. It's done. I'm simply seeing those numbers. But some people can see golden coins. Other people can see, you can see yourself going on a holiday, whatever that money is, is symbolic for to you, just put that into the golden um, globe. It's very, very safe, this practice, so just give yourself permission to play. Sometimes it, meets, it, it means that you can see uh, loved ones from overseas, now you have the means to travel. So you see yourself embrace each other after a long time and spending time together. Just the holiday of a lifetime that you deserve or a new car or anything. The universe wants to give it to you. It's the bank of benevolence. That's what you have to remember. The universe is like the bank of benevolence. And it has unlimited credit. All right, so when you feel happy and satisfied and in alignment with what's going on between your hands, the golden globe, it's shiny, it's turning around, you've made it turn around the other way, you've put your number in there. I want you to strengthen your throat chakra by we gently putting that ball now into our throat chakra and we welcoming it into the throat. <sighs> And it feels so good. So you can repeat this meditation or practice many times, as many times as it take. Take sometimes people feel the T and J softens after many times because you know this area becomes very very solid <coughs> from stresses, and those stresses, like I told you before, can be inherited. You didn't create most of the stresses in your life you were just responding to old ancestral imprints that were in your body and so another really good i'll just finish now with giving you some hints train your throat chakra so the universe is the bank of benevolence and it is the bank of unlimited credit but it's still you still have a role to play you have to clean up your act right so you have to listen deeply to yourself 
find out what your truth is, what's my truth in amongst all this chaos. And rather than sort of journaling, it's really, really important. Just start journaling, like, where am I, what's, what's the goal with my money? Uh, I don't like the, the way, like, I went to the shop yesterday and I felt stressed, da, da, da. So you just write things like that. And um, you can simply write, I want more money, I want money for this and that. When you say, I want, that's okay by the universe, because the universe is your parent. And little children use those words. They say, I want that ice cream and I want this. So just allow that little child, your throat, to talk. But, that, but do stop, uh, stop using your throat for small talk, rubbish, and gossip. Right, so every time you get the temptation to gossip or to whatever, laugh behind people's back, or you know, use the lower qualities that are hidden in here, immediately change it to gratitude. So, you, if you get the urge to do that, you just say to yourself, I'm so grateful and happy, I'm so happy and grateful, I am so happy and grateful, I'm so happy and grateful, and I can tell you the urge is gone. So clean up everything that comes out of here and that's just a little a little energy hack you just say i'm so happy and grateful and literally now you're already operating on a different frequency and gratitude uh, amplifies the course you're on right so if you want to become a money magnet and have greater abundance you need to train this literally um this is the first one of your spiritual chakras as well so then we have these chakras so uh, become a master right so come so become aware of what you think about and what you say out loud you speak into your life so that's very important that you speak good words that are going to benefit you so let's just say some good words um and we're going to tap in around the ears so we have like memory points here and you just say something like I am aligned with my highest truth and, and that's gone into the body now I am aligned with my highest truth um, it's natural for me to express who I am and you can even say, I'm a magnet for money. I'm a magnet for love and money. I'm a magnet for true love. I'm a magnet for money. And if you think, well, money still feels a bit icky to me, you can say, I'm a magnet for money and integrity. Right? Because integrity needs to be combined with money. I listen with interest. And compassion and these are all like um, um, practices that dramatically change the energy in your chakras and dramatically change your course in life so you have a different life to your parents and your ancestors and you've paved the way for your children for me that is always so so important uh, in the past when I was very very low in self-esteem you know, so low that I created a truck accident that I felt I deserved. Um, I didn't ask for anything, right? And then I learned that unless I heal my life, I'm passing all this rubbish on to my children. So like in those days, I didn't always do things for me because I loved myself. I didn't have much self-love at all. I had self-loathing. I always struggled with deep self-loathing. Um, and now I am so comfortable in my body I feel so at peace I love my body I love that I know how to bring in money uh, I love my children my children are more comfortable around me because they feel that I am comfortable in myself and so on so but initially I did a lot of this transformational work that's painful and for my children so Whatever it takes to get you into the right, onto the right track, just do that. It doesn't matter because eventually the self-love, the self-care, it all starts to flow into your body, into your life, into your being. It becomes a spiritual thing for you. 
um, and a physical thing as well and a soul thing, right? So it has to find its home on all levels. So just um, do some of these practices, check out my online course and um, see how your circumstances change and how good you start to feel in your body. Thanks for tuning in everyone and if you have any questions, pop a, pop a message to me and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye, everyone.